trying to tell me that your husband has refused to have sexual intercourse with you since the both of you got married. Like, I don't really understand. What is going on? That is it, my dear. Ken has refused to touch me ever since we got married. We only did it twice. And when I go to him to ask him about it, he tells me he's not in the mood. I literally beg and plead for everything. I plead for us to have sex. Let me shock you. Do you know Ken, my husband, always requests for his balance whenever I return back from the market? And he will want to know what I bought and the amount I bought them. And then ask for his balance. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't mean it like... Is this what you're facing in this house? This is what I've been facing ever since we got married. I tried keeping it to myself, hoping it would change. But it didn't. I just need someone to talk to. Because I'm fed up. I don't know what to do. Listen, I understand how you feel. You know, some men don't fancy sex. Yes, they're not always in the mood. Maybe it's those kind of men. Not my Ken. The Ken I got married to wouldn't stay for one week without asking for sex. We usually have it until we got married and then everything changed. Can, can change from being that nice, caring and loving man to that cold and annoying man. I don't know what, what I've done. I don't know what wrong I've done to him. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Look, this is what you're going to do. When he comes back from work today, just try to persuade him. At least, he can tell you if you've wronged him. Oh, what? Are you sure he's not saying no? No, no. My husband cannot cheat. He can't cheat on me. I trust him. Have you been? You call me worried. You don't have to be worried. Why are you not asleep? I've been waiting for you. You've not answered my question. Woman, you can go in there and catch some sleep. Okay? Where are you coming from, baby? I don't understand you. Is it that I don't have the right to come into my house whenever I want? Wherever I'm coming from, it's none of your business. I'm your wife and I deserve to know where you're coming from. You close from work 5 p.m. and you stay out late till 10 p.m. Wait, have you started keeping late nights? Woman, mind the way you talk to me. I am your husband. And I have the right to come into my house whenever I chose to. Listen, let this be the first and the last time you will permit such Rubbish from that gutter you call the mount. Nonsense. So you won't tell me where you're coming from? Get out.
What money? Money for foodstuffs. I need to stop the kitchen. Lucy, I thought you were working. Yes, I work. But you know it's not the end of the month yet. I haven't been paid. Thank God you said it's not the end of the month. I have not been paid either. Come on, Lucy. Where, where do you expect me to get 50,000 Naira from? Hmm? Why are you sounding like this? Eh? Have you forgotten I'm aware they give you weekly allowance? They pay you 20,000 Naira every week. You could use it. You said weekly allowance, right? It is my own weekly allowance, not for the family. Listen, I don't have any money. Even if I have, I don't have to spend. Why are you, why, why, why are you standing like this? Why are you like this? Why are you this stingy? Come on, I'm not, I'm not even asking you money for my hair or jewelry. I'm asking money for you, for the food you will still eat. This is, I want to stock up the kitchen. The same food you will eat. Listen, young lady, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Now, um, maybe, let's see how this week runs. I may come up with something. I may, may come up with something. Okay, at, at least have your breakfast before going. Sorry, I'm not interested. I'm not hungry. Thank you. Rejecting my food. My friend, this is what I've been facing in this house. I've tried, but why would he reject your food? You see, look, see, this, this is the reason I keep telling you that your husband is cheating. Yes, he has another woman outside. But he said he isn't cheating. That is what he will always say. No man accepts he cheats. He will not tell you the truth, you see. You have to be wise. No. I trust my husband. I don't think it has gotten to that extent. <laughs> so if he is not cheating, why this sudden change? Oh yes, why? Or oh. is he into courtesy? God forbid. My husband cannot be a courtesan. Please calm down. You don't know this. Some of them when they join this court of the day, the grandmaster will always sleep. Avoid their wives. Sometimes they don't sleep with their wives. Sometimes they will tell them to stop giving their wives money. Really? Yes, they also use them both children for which was too. Or don't you watch them in movies? Hmm. Maybe that is why he's avoiding you know, and it's also the reason he's not giving you money. I think you have a point there. Yes, I do. You have to keep an eye on him. Ask him some kind of questions. And anything you are doing you have to be fast and that off before this mother gets out of hand. Thank you so much for your advice. It's our friends for you. Um, you can for anything. I'm sorry, I'm not for anything. <laughs>
up now. What is all this? What is your problem? I have told you that I am not in the mood. Eh? Huh? King, what has come over you? Ever since we got married, you don't touch me, you don't make love to me. King, what is the problem? Walk, walk, walk. I had a very hectic day at work. Please. I am not in the mood for sex now. All I need is just rest. I need to rest. Ah. You work well with dating. And it was a sweet relationship. But now, it looks as if we're two different people from two different worlds. Yes, of course we are. We are different. Who is the other woman? Excuse me. Listen. I am not seeing any woman. I'm tired of this your woman stuff. Please. I'm not seeing any woman. How do I believe you? No, tell me. How do I believe what you're saying? You suddenly change. You don't touch me. You don't. You don't do anything. You don't take care of me. You don't do anything. Please, a lot of this. Enough of all this. I need to be at work tomorrow morning. Please, I need to rest. Good night. I'll end of discussion. Mm. You have to do it all. You have to do it all. You tell me the other woman you've been sleeping with. Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucy, I said you should leave my You're not going anywhere. What is your problem now? Ken, eh? Ken you have to talk to me. Tell me the truth. Can I need to talk to I have told you to stop asking me such silly questions. What is wrong with you? You have to answer me here and now. You have no choice, Ken. Tell me the name of your court. Lucy, can you just get out of my way? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You have to start talking now. Tell me here and right now the name of your court. Let's see, you wouldn't want to see the other side of me. I said leave my sight now. Or what would you do? You hit me? Or what? What would you do? Tell me. What would you do to me? You cry. Yes. You're trying to You're trying to You're trying to this out. What's your problem? Tell me. Get out. No sense. <laughs> Babe, since you came back from your last outing, you've been glowing, girl. Like, glowing. What's the secret? Babe, it's Ken. <laughs> Yesterday, Ken rocked me. Like, he rocked me harder. <laughs> it's deep, baby. You see his cucumber. <sighs> it's very, very, very big. It's a hmm. I'm sure you must have rocked him like never before. No. He rocked me so. I didn't rock him. I hope he won't take you away from Tony. Who is Tony? That one. I believe that is my own jar. That one will satisfy me from bed. Oh, I love Ken a lot. Oh, I love his thing. When will I find a man that will drive me crazy like this? No, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Babe, what about the hair? Yeah, I just ordered it. It's coming in two days. Okay. How much is it? Because I asked him if he's into cultism. Hmm. So, so 
So, what do you plan on doing? I don't even know. I'm scared to go home. I think I know what to do. What? I think I'll call the police to arrest him. And he will sleep in cell for complete two weeks without food and water. By then, he will regret how bad it is to get him. I don't like, I don't like that. He's going to do it. Why? That's what he They can't arrest him. Why can't they arrest him? <laughs> do you know who you are even talking about? They are talking about a man that hates his wife. A man that refused to have sex with his wife. A man that doesn't even give his wife attention. A man that refused to take care of his wife. Why are you copying the bits now? Let's get him arrested. You will realize how bad it is to You don't understand, Jay. I love him so much. Hmm. Like, I can't even be here to see him spend just one night there. Not to talk about two weeks without food. That means he's going to be absent from work for two weeks. No, 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 no. I'm not buying that. Please. You can't do that. No. Have you forgotten something? Do you remember about that in our university days? Did you remember how my boyfriend beat me and punched one of my eyes? And how I slept in the hospital for complete one month? Did you remember how you arrested my boyfriend for eating the hmm? Yes, do you remember? Jane, your case is different. Oh, that was your boyfriend. We have not a kind to mend over. We're talking about my husband here, a man who paid my bride price. So, because he's married to you, he should kill you. Wait, I don't understand. Where's the Lucia? Okay, this is not the Lucia. This is not my Lucia. I know. This is not you. The Lucy I know is the Lucy that can go to any extent to deal with any man that hits a woman. Why are you so cold like this? Why? What is even what is wrong with you? Why are you so cold like this? Jane. All these things you're saying. They're all in the past. The past. Come on. Let's forget about the past and forge ahead. Besides, I still stand my ground. I will not watch my husband. Get arrested. I don't want to die like some women who do who lose their life in their matrimonial houses due to domestic violence. And you just want to end your life like that. If you don't want to arrest him, no problem. I don't have to talk much. Just do what pleases you. What happened now? I've been calling you. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm on with my phone. I'm only sounding like that. Is everything okay? I hit her. You did? Wow. That was a nice move. I'm only sounding nervous. I I've not done such to a woman before. I shouldn't have done that. Don't say that, babe. That was a nice move. At least, you can create space between me and you. Or even hand the marriage. You think so? Yes, I do. You need to eat her again, again, and again. At least you don't have much time to waste. You know the plan now. Oh. It's alright. It's alright. I, I will do just that. Okay. Okay. I have, babe, one more thing. You need to come to my apartment tonight. I'm really missing you. Actually, I'm going to prepare a previous meal, so you have to come with me. Actually, um, Liz is not around, so I'm not around. You mean Liz is not around? Yes, baby, will you come? I'm missing you. Yeah. It's all right. I will see you later. Okay, baby. Mm. Bye. Hey, come, come, come.
I say? What are you doing with my phone? Eh? Is it the belt I asked you to bring? I'm sorry, this is a belt. Why did you touch my phone in the first place? I'm sorry. I was only checking the time with it. With my phone? So you don't have your own phone to check your stupid time? It's alright. Today you will tell me who gave you the audacity to touch my phone. Stupid girl. <laughs> Next time, let me see you close my phone. <laughs> <laughs>